Did you know that ESF has the largest paper machine out of any university in the U.S.? Let's make paper on it. We start with dry pulp, which has been donated by local paper companies. After making careful measurements, we load into a large pulper that adds water and breaks up the pulp before it's sent to the beater. In the beater, the pulp is further diluted and mixed. We take samples here to test different properties before it heads to our machine. The first part of the machine is the wet end, or forming section. Here, gravity and vacuums are used to gradually remove water from the pulp. Next, the paper will be squeezed in our press section. Between our machine's two presses, immense amount of pressure are applied to the paper to help remove as much water as possible and increase paper strength before it enters the final stage of the machine, known as the dryer section. In the dryer section, we use steam from a local source to heat these giant rolls, and as the steam condenses into water, we'll send it back to be turned into steam again. Once dry, the paper is rolled up onto the parent reel at the end of the machine before being sent for cutting. We have a sheeter which cuts the paper into large sheets, and a guillotine cutter which further cuts the sheets down to size. In this run, we made highly absorbent blotter paper. This paper was made for labs across campus and will be used by future ESF students. And that's how our paper engineering students make paper like this.